Republican female senators whose disapproval of the GOP healthcare effort has at times endangered its progress are facing an increasingly pointed backlash from men in their party, including a handful of comments that invoked physical retaliation. In the past week, Sen. Susan Collins, Maine, has been challenged by a male lawmaker to a duel. She and Sen. Lisa Murkowski, Alaska, were told that they and others deserve a physical reprimand for their decisions not to support Republican health care proposals. Murkowski, who voted with Collins against starting the health care debate this week, was specifically called out by President Trump on Twitter and told by a cabinet official that Alaska could suffer for her choice, according to a colleague. The language of retribution, increasingly adopted by Republican men, reflects Trump's influence and underscores the challenges GOP women can face when opposing the consensus of their party, which remains dominated by men, outside. Experts said, a videotape of Trump surfaced during the campaign revealing him bragging in vulgar terms about groping women, and some believed that opened the gates for further insults and degrading behavior toward women. Masculine dominance in the Republican Party is not only in numbers but in culture, said Kelly Dittmer, a scholar at the Center for American Women and Politics at Rutgers University and the author of Navigating Gendered Terrain, Stereotypes and Strategy in Political Campaigns, when the person who is supposed to be the leader of the party shows it's okay to use those sorts of attacks, whether they are specifically gendered or not, that is something that catches on at other levels. Dittmer said, we see it in the elected officials who feel it's okay. To say things like this, Senate GOP leaders work to round up votes for modest health care. Overhaul, Collins and Murkowski have been among the Senate's most consistently skeptical voices as Republicans accelerate their effort to amend the 2010 Affordable Care Act, ACA. In contrast with conservative critics such as Sen. Rand Paul or Kentucky, both women have criticized GOP health care proposals because they would cut funding to Medicaid and Planned Parenthood, which provide medical care to hundreds of thousands of people in their states.